Now, in this particular example, I'm going to show you how we do integration by substitution when we have limits. And we have the integral then from 1 to 2 of x times 2x plus 1, all cubed, with respect to x. Now, in the usual way, we're going to make a substitution, and that substitution is going to be to let u equal 2x plus 1. So we'll just put that up here, let u equal the 2x plus 1. Remember, we differentiate this with respect to x, first of all, and that would give us du dx equals 2. We require dx by du, and so we know that dx by du is always equal to 1 over du by dx, so that's going to be a half in this particular case. And so we can write this integral. Let's just forget about the limits, though, at the moment. We'll talk about that later. But we have the f of x. So f of x was this part in here, so that's x bracket 2x plus 1 to the power 3. And in place of dx, we write dx du, which is now a half, and then du. Now, when it comes to the limits, we can't put in 1 and 2. These limits here, 1 and 2, are with respect to x. Now what we have is an integral that is with respect to u. So we must change the limits with respect to u. And how do we do that? Well, first of all, we have when x is 1. So when x is 1, we need to find out what u would be. Okay, And the only way we can do that is through the substitution up here. So when x is 1, we would have 2 times 1 is 2, plus another 1 is 3. u would be 3. So when x is 1, u equals 3. And when x is the upper limit, 2, we've got to find out what the corresponding u value is. So when you have put 2 in here, you'll have 2 times 2, which is 4, plus 1 is 5, so u would equal 5. Now we put these limits here in exactly the same position. So when x is 1, we found out that u was 3, so we put that there. And when x was 2, we found out that u was 5. Now there will be some examples where this number on the bottom turns out to be bigger than the top limit. Don't swap the two limits around. Okay, Just keep them the same way as they fall out with their corresponding x values. Otherwise, you will get the answer wrong. OK, so moving on now, as we've done before, we need to change the function of x here into some function of u. And what we have here is just an x. And we need to turn to the substitution to rearrange that. So we know that u equals 2x plus 1. So 2x would equal u minus 1. And so therefore x would equal u minus 1 over 2. So we have the integral going from 3 to 5. x then is u minus 1 over 2. So I'll pop that in, u minus 1 over 2. 2x two plus 1, well that's u. So then that becomes u to the power 3. So we have u cubed. And then we have the half du. Tidying this up. It would be a good idea to multiply the half here with the half here. That's a quarter. And bring that out the front of the integral. And the integral goes from 3 to 5. And then we have u cubed times u minus 1. u cubed times u minus 1. And to do this integral, all we've got to do is expand the bracket. So expanding the bracket gives u to the 4 minus u cubed. Put that back in brackets though because there's a couple of terms there with respect to u. 
and then integrate this and integrating u to the 4 is obviously going to be u to the 5 over 5 and integrating u cubed with respect to u is going to be u to the 4 over 4. Put our limits in from 3 to 5 and then all we need to do is just substitute the value of 5 through first of all so we have a quarter and then we have 5 to the power 5 over 5 minus 5 to the power 4 over 4 and then minus 3 to the power 5 over 5 minus 3 to the power 4 over 4 and if you do that on your calculator you should find that you get 1 101 all over 10.